Hi, my name's Tim Jones. We are at uh, Wunwell, South Yorkshire, on the periphery of Barnsley. Uh, we are here on the on the what is known as the Convicts Tunnel. It was actually built by the prisoners of Wakefield Prison, which is now in West Yorkshire. Um, Wakefield Prison actually predates the prison system. You've got the Edmund Duquesne prison reforms from 1855 to 1877 and um, as you can see it's predominantly built of sto out of stone. These prisoners would uh, have been stonemasons. Uh, the actual prison, Wakefield Prison, was actually built by the prisoners and um, as you can see a great deal of intricacy craftsmanship if you want to it has gone into it incorporated this the dressing of the stone the stone would have been excavated on site so you wouldn't have been able to travel if you see the marks in the stone of the prisoners they were all stone masons maybe fallen on hardship reason they went through the prison system and um, in Wakefield prison they actually had women and children and uh, that's where the old rhyme comes from, let's go around the mulberry bush. But we're not concentrating too much on Wakefield Prison at the moment. We're concentrating on the craftsmanship here. If you look at the structure, very medieval structure. Now, above it is a train line. This would have actually predated the rail industry. And uh, what would have happened? And many to, um, a part of the, the penal system were actually finding work for these prisoners. So, if you look at this, tr the track further on, it would have been a trunk road for agricultural roads, roads predates obviously railways, no canal structure. So, it would have been basically horse and car, basically. Um, and that's why this will have been built. And obviously, like, like I've just said, just uh, re reiterate to find work and it would have been hard labour all this would have been excavated by hand as you can imagine you can see how old it is just by the by the stone how much is the, ro the erosion of it but it is rather interesting it's like it's really medieval this roof structure um, obviously in the medieval period it would have been wood but this would have been built out of uh, iron basically wrought iron and uh, like bridges and everything you know what I mean to take the strength of a uh, and maybe part of this structure here has been added to later there's very little written records of a uh, um, documentation but if you look at the bottom here you can actually see break so I think at some point these steel girders have been incorporated later uh, into the structure to uh, to prop up the rail track. Do you want to go and point out carvings to your viewers? Yes, I would like to point out the carvings. There are many carvings here on the stonemason. Each stonemason had his own distinctive carving. So we have carvings of all stones due to erosion. And as you can see, this part of the structure and that part of the structure elements due to wind, rain, snow and it's erosion there you see and also rainwater what's gone through and all rest rain you know there'll be water what's gone through through track and it'll have grit down so it'll have er eroded it. Some areas it's more prevalent than others and you've got your carvings here and how neatly have they dressed this stone. It's amazing. You can always you, you can always you can always trace the original stone, stone. This looks as though it may have been a later structure for whatever reason they may have built this and then decided that they needed to uh, penalise them even more off adding dis more discipline or something and find them work. So that's been probably later. It looks like it's a later addition. Bear in mind these structures would have took a great deal of time and 
uh, because it was all back breaking work and stone had to be excavated, dressed and all manner of other items like what, what a modern stonemason would actually um, get to relate to more than someone as me who can appreciate the beauty of it. Anyway, thank you for tuning in. Bye.